actually has a rose uh, compliant nickel plated uh, uh, coating, which is uh, excellent for durability, wear, uh, and energy absorption. The technology is a hydraulic shock absorber. So basically what happens is when there's an impact on the shock from whatever, if it's, a, if it's equipment or on the machine, as it's impacted, we're forcing oil through a number of orifices. And that's how we basically slow down the, the load and minimize the impact. We never get rid of energy, we just transform it to thermal energy. So it'll, it'll be produced to thermal energy and it'll be dis dissipated through the body of the shock. The other big feature is we've got a larger button on it which can handle a lot more uh, energy uh, over, over our competition. I believe we're seeing sp speed. You know, people want things quicker and they want um, products done quicker, so that, that uh, pushes the machine tooling industry to manufacture faster, and that really plays into what we, we do because we, as the components on the equipment move quicker, they need some help with the vibration or the impacts, and that's exactly what we do. In terms of uh, predictive maintenance, right now the machine tools are more intelligent machine that yes. are communicating and, and saying to the operator, hey, I will have a failure in two weeks. Yes. Uh, are there something planned for shock absorbers and those elements? That's a great question because we're actually working on that and um, we've been working on it for a, a few years, but um, we're actually working on it. We're not really ready to talk about it now, but that is definitely something that we know is that the preventative maintenance, the predictable maintenance, yeah. Uh, those are things that our customers want, and it's a balancing of, for us, it's a balancing of, can we provide this at a cost that they really want to pay for?